I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development, here with another little update from the St. Thomas Megasite. Okay, so today we're in an excavation near the existing water storage station in St. Thomas, and I'm joined by Rob. Uh, Rob, introduce yourself. Tell us uh, who you work for and what you do. My name is Rob. I work for Heyman Construction, a London-based company out of uh, London, obviously. Uh, we've been around since 1872 and uh, family owned, uh, very, very nice group to work for. Right on. And we're standing uh, just outside, kind of in an excavation here. Um, what's going on here? What is this project that you're working on? Uh, this is an expansion. It's a booster pumping station, so which feeds uh, the city of London, uh, St. Thomas, Elmer, and uh, small communities around the area. Yeah, it's part of the EV expansion that's coming soon that everybody's talking about. And you can see out on the roadway how much construction's going on, and uh, it's quite in, in depth. Right on. So, so these pumps here in particular will feed higher pressure, I think, to the Yarmouth Yards area is what I've been told. But this is like quite a substantial, like how big are these pumps? This is a big construction that you guys are doing. Can you walk us through some of the components of what we're seeing behind us? Well, first of all, we have to put in shoring behind us and uh, it's like a retaining wall to, you know, to keep the building from collapsing in and also keep the workers safe. So um, there, there's quite a bit involved. Uh, you know, you know, it all starts at the bottom. It starts with footings and, uh, and you're working your way out with uh, reinforced concrete. So there's, there's lots to deal with. And secondly, we have to expose a lot of existing water piping and, uh, and build from those pipes and then tie back into. So it's quite in depth. Right on. Now I see some sort of uh, column structures over here on this sidewall. What are these? Those are your caissons. It's reinforced. So what's going to sit on top of those caissons is, is what is called a grade beam and it'll tie back into the building. So um, in that specific area, that's your electrical room. Okay. And then uh, behind us here, there are sort of what look like, like pilings. I don't know if those are driven or, or how those are put in the ground with some sort of wood retaining walls. Walk us through this structure back here. For sure. Uh, behind us, you can see there's uh, 14 of them, H columns, which is, uh, first of all, is bored by a, uh, a one meter caisson and uh, it's a 200,000 pound uh, drilling machine. So what they do, they bore and then they'll cast in concrete and then they'll drop in the H columns act, acting for structural reinforcement. And then eventually as they get all that uh, installed, then they'll put the lumber in there, which is uh, basically like a poplar. It's uh, three by eight by 12 feet long and it acts like a retaining wall. And uh, as time goes on, they'll put in some horizontal uh, H columns, turn into beams and uh, weld it and uh, put brackets on and also too they're they drill in what is called tie backs up to about uh, 30 feet in with uh, a mortar mix so to not allow it to pull out so it's it's, it's to save the building and uh, also too it's to uh, protect the worker okay I think that kind of wood is a poplar choice for this kind of construction. Um, do you know where the the uh, pedestals will sit in this uh, that the the uh, pumps themselves will actually be set on top of? To point out uh, to your question, there we what we have we have a sump pit that's uh, quite low. It's down to an uh, elevation of two forty one, and then we have a lower pit uh, uh, which is going to host a lot of the piping, and then we have the main basement floor, which will host all the pumps. Right on. Well, thanks very much for joining us and for walking us through this. And uh, we look forward to coming back and talking to you again as things progress. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Enjoy your uh, Friday. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, release this on a Wednesday, but now they know that it's on a Friday. That's great, though. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, like and subscribe on YouTube and stay tuned for another little update coming soon.